Okay guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about VCT timing error codes on the 5.4 liter 3 valve engines. More specifically, after you've done anything to do with the timing. You've changed phasers, you've changed the whole timing chain set, went in there and changed tensioners, you think it's all okay, you put that together, you time it just right, and now you have new timing error codes. And the ones I want to talk about specifically today is a P0016 and a P0018. And what those have to do with is the PCM is detecting a cam crank correlation to the base timing of the engine. And if these DTCs set for one tooth or more of being off on the timing on there. And, and of course, they can watch both banks individually in the three valve engines. So it'll set codes for individually for each side. Now, I've, I've been getting a lot of questions about this recently. For some reason, I guess a lot of people are trying to fix their vehicles and fall here before the big winner. Uh, comes ahead of us and they're doing timing chains and phasers and everything to fix them up. Also, at the same time, I just got a mobile call the other day about the same exact codes and errors and, and problem after touching phasers or timing chains. And the guy just could not figure it out. He did not watch any of my videos, didn't know anything about me. And I was talking to him on the phone for a little bit and I already knew exactly what the concern was. He missed time the engine. Uh, what I had to do was go over there, a little mobile call, and go verify on the scan tool. I want to show you now exactly what I did. I mean, it took me five minutes to verify his timing was off. I didn't bust out an oscilloscope to map the crank and cams over each other. I didn't do anything like that. I didn't pull the front cover. I didn't pull a valve cover. I didn't pull a oil cap to look at anything. I simply busted the scan tool out and I verified his timing was off that easy. Okay, now this particular engine was mistimed on both banks. So you can see the cam crank correlation codes for both banks on there. And of course, a couple misfire codes from the timing being off on there. So the first thing I did is I went to the PCM PID data and I pulled up all the PIDs that had anything to do with the VCT system. This way I can watch it in real time and see what the heck was going on. It's a nice part about these systems. I started the vehicle up, get the system running and operational. And once it loads here, I'll be able to show you what's uh, going on. So up top there, you can see there's no fault currently in the VCT system, but you can see there is a fault because the timing up there is advanced 10 to 12 degrees, and the error is at negative 10 to 12 degrees, which is what it should be at zero there. It should be hovering right at zero, not hovering over here at 10 to 12 degrees. So right there, it tells you the timing is le at least a tooth off, and in this case, it was a tooth off on there. The other thing I did is I brought up the power balance to watch all the cylinders in real time, and we can see, once it loads here, that all the cylinders are kind of wavy. They're all over the place. It should be uh, more of a flat line going across there at zero. So that tells you right there the timing is off on both banks also. Now this case was unique in the fact that he had no real information on how to time this engine. So he just went off the dot in the back instead of the L or R on the front side of the phaser there. But many other people are having this issue and they're watching my videos and they're going through the whole timing process and they are spanning the L and the R and they're doing everything just right and they're still having timing issues on there. And this is a great little tool, great little function to verify because the engine will still run. It'll run uh, a rough though. It's not too rough, but it's like, it's just not smooth. And then also that it doesn't have the top end. Um, it doesn't have anything uh, to it. it. It just feels totally different. This one was actually a lot quieter because of the valve timing was off. Um, there's, there's a lot of different uh, aspects to it. Uh, but the big thing you'll notice is the, the rough idle and of course the 0016 and 0018 codes depending on which bank you actually missed time down there. So hopefully this helps someone out there that has this issue. They think they timed everything right. They don't want to take everything apart and do it over again. Just have the same issue. Take it somewhere, borrow a scan tool, and, and check these PIDs on there and you'll verify right away if your timing is actually off or you have like a VCT solenoid that's sticking and just sending pressure through constantly or something like that. Then this way you'll know it's mechanical and you know if you need to delve into the engine again or not. 